Hello, it's Doris with Aldi Books. So, no belated Friday reads this week because I really haven't done much reading. I was in St. Louis with my church bestie. Um, we went to the Arch and we had St. Louis style pizza. We went to the Art Museum and the zoo, all sorts of fun things. We stayed with her parents, so I did a lot more socializing than I usually do. So not much time for reading, not much time for reading. Um, I didn't vlog, but there are a few random clips at the end of this. I'll stick them on back there if you're interested. So since I have been back, yesterday I worked on my travel to China. So if you are new and are not aware, I am moving to China. Breaking news, I have a date, July 21st. So exciting, so exciting. However, all of your thoughts and prayers, please. So July 21st, I fly to Shanghai. July 19th, I fly to Dallas. Um, for COVID testing. Luckily, they've um, abbreviated this. It used to be seven days, apparently, but now it's just two days. So I have to get a PCR test on the 19th, and then I have to get another PCR test on the 20th. I have to upload those to the Chinese embassy so they can give me a green light to go. Uh, and then I have to get an antigen test the afternoon of the 20th. <sighs> anyway, so thoughts and prayers that I avoid the COVID for these last few weeks. Um, and no flights get canceled. <laughs> anyway, so also yesterday, I, I had the overwhelming urge to do more purging. Like, I'm having reverse nesting syndrome going on here. I just, everywhere I look, I want to get rid of stuff. It's a burning fire within me. So yesterday I purged um, the crafting area and it doesn't really look like I did much because it's just all like sitting there on the table. So I know, I know, sorry stuff, but I'm ready for round two of the book purging because then I can like organize the remaining books on the shelves along with my crafting supplies. Yes. So I have already in the first installment, I went through my graphic novels and my young adult and fantasy books. Um, so today I'm just gonna, I think, go through the front of this shelf. So this is, um, a library, a vintage library table shelving system. So uh, the shelves you see on the front here are also on the reverse. And I have um, my TBR shelf and a couple of nonfiction shelves over there. And, uh, but I, I don't think I'll get to all of that today. I think I'll just do the front of this in this video. Um, and again, don't project, this is me not you. I'm moving to China and I feel like this life moment works for me to, you know, downsize my book collection, but you enjoy yours because books are fabulous. Okay, let's do this thing. So I organize my books in categories. So these are Native American so of these, I definitely want to keep there, there. And then one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Um, I read that as a teen and have like a lot of nostalgia over it. And then these are, I guess, Latin X, you would say. Um, I really got into Eduardo Galeano a couple years ago. Um, I believe this is the first one I read of his, so I want to keep that one. I have gushed about Esmeralda Santiago numerous times. This is her um, memoir trilogy. I highly recommend. These are like 
some of my all-time favorite books. Um, I also really love Margarita Ingle. I want to keep this one, Silver People. This is about the Panama Canal. And then I want to keep the one that it, this is her memoir. So Enchanted Air. I think Soaring Earth. Yeah, so that's her memoir. I want to keep those. This one I want to keep. It's about Guatemala where I lived um, right out of college. And this reminds me of that. And then the fruit of the drunken tree really um, captivated me. I could see myself reading that one again someday. Um, I really like uh, literary fiction. So let's get my little crafties out of the way here. So down here we have, I think this is the Middle East. So Halet Hosseini, I think is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So all of his books must stay. Um, Genesis, this taught me a lot about, um, Israel. That's what I'm trying to say. The formation of Israel. Um, and then, uh, obviously, Ellie Weisel would tag along with that very well. Um, and then this one is World War II short story collection. Um, that I found interesting, but I collect armadillos as well. I'm not sure that I need any more of those. I'm tempted to keep that one. Oh, I'll think about it. Yeah, no, I'm good. So, okay, and then uh, this, all of this, and all of this, um, and that top shelf there somewhat are, um, my, I call it my Black History Month shelves. So, I definitely want to keep the lot of Emmett Till. That was very impactful. Nikki Grimes, I really enjoy her writing. This is her memoir. She's a poet. And then this is one of her poetry books on the Harlem Renaissance. Um, Wyatt T. Moore, oh, definitely. The Color of Water, definitely. Um, Gloria Naylor, definitely. Hmm, maybe. Friday Night Lights, definitely. This reminds me of high school in the 80s. Okay, this book, I just, The Serial Killer, My Sister the Serial, serial Killer, awesome, that was so much fun. Um, what else? I want to keep a Jacqueline Woodson, but I think I'll keep um, Red to the Bone. And then while I'm here, Tambourines to Glory, I like the Harlem Renaissance. Um, what else? Oh, Christopher Paul Curtis is a brilliant writer. This is one of my favorites. This is another of his. I'm not sure about that one, if I need to keep that one, but definitely this one. Oh, Brown Girl. Brown Girl Dreaming as well. Okay, maybe I'll keep that one. <laughs> I'll keep two of um christopher paul curtis and two of jacqueline woodson oh definitely hidden figures so so good my angelou a raisin in the sun yes 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 bluest eye oh, yes 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 between the world and me um I don't know. I might keep the 
Harlem Renaissance books. Those are maybes. Uh, the Known World. I feel like I didn't get enough out of this the first time around. I didn't read it like consistently, so I missed out on stuff. Um, all of Zora. I love Zora. Okay, um, becoming another Zora. Um, I think. Okay, definitely we were at Years in Power. I think I liked that one. I need to go through that one as well. Uh, that one. This is my maybe pile over there. Um, okay, Isabel Wilkerson. Obviously, you would keep Isabel Wilkerson. <laughs> uh, Washington Black, I found fascinating just to think about. Um, the Color of Law and the Immortal Life of Henrietta Lack. Infuriating. Another way to more, just brilliant. Uh, fresh water, I found mesmerizing. Uh, Jasmine Ward, okay. She's not 100% my favorite, but much respect, much respect. Um, and this is my favorite of hers. The magical realism in there, I think I would be interested in rereading. So, these are my um, South African project that I still have not finished from like two or three years ago. <laughs> I have those three left to read, so those are going to stay for now. Uh, these are, I think, my first two years of Kerbathon, so I want to keep those. Okay, and then this is Asian. Um, these three sections here. So, let's look through those. Okay, Tana Lai. I have other books of hers that I want to keep. Oh my god, this book is just gut-wrenching. This book is just Gorgeous. On Earth, we're briefly gorgeous in human acts. Um, must keep. Must keep those. Um, okay. Oh, my gosh. This one. Oh. This one I, is signed by the author. Uh, I got this for my dad. He was in the Korean conflict. And um, my son drew this for my dad. They're fishing. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Uh, so my dad's name was Elmo. <laughs> I told her that she was in the Korean War. And she says to Elmo with gratitude for your service. So... I loved this book. Um, it was about the Japanese occupation of Korea. Um, let's see. Uh, what else do I need to keep over here? Oh, where's a Zeki? I think I'll keep that one. And oh, we got here. Um, I keep this Korean one. This is a nonfiction, nothing to envy. It was really good. Um, oh, these are the two Tana Lai. These are great. They're middle school, but just, just so smart. Uh, inside out and back again and listen slowly. So, so good. Another great Ruth Ozeki. Mm, that's a maybe. Uh, what else? Oh, this was freaky. Mm, do I need to keep that freaky book? That's a maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness, was that freaky. Okay, and then a 
Okay, this is my Cuban project that I've finished but have not filmed, so that stays. I collected all of the Amy Tan books, so this is my favorite and Joy Luck Club. I don't know if I'll keep, oh, I want to keep her memoir too, and then I'll have to think about the rest of those. And then, um, I thought this was really interesting. I would read that again. This is travel memoir that I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, those are all India, I believe. Okay, and then up here we have a very my minuscule Alice in Wonderland collection. Um, so I have to keep the complete works of Lewis Carroll. My sister gave me that, and I really think this After Alice is very interesting. I would read that again. This is poetry. So another Nikki Grimes that is a maybe. And obviously we must keep Jen Campbell and Bert, Roberto Pastore. Um, and then these are short story collections, which I'm not really feeling attached to short story collections. However, this Lauren Groff, Florida, loved it so much. I'm a Florida native and she definitely sees Floridians. I'm tempted to keep the Lucia Berlin Manual for Cleaning Woman. Really good. That's a maybe. And then um, the Shell Collector. I think I will keep that. I like that a lot too. Oh, and another Jen Campbell. Gotta keep the gins. Okay. And then the B books. So Dave Goulson is a must keep. Um, who else? Honey and Venom. This is about urban beekeeping. I thought that was interesting. Uh, Thor Hansen. Another Dave Goulson. Like, these are just pretty, right? Oh, gotta keep those. And where are we? I think the bees by Laylene Paul. I thought this was interesting allegory. Um, and a beautiful, beautiful book. <laughs> okay, and then Marguerite Henry. This is a picture book. I might keep that. I'm not sure. But I also have these. So I don't know which ones of these if I need to keep all those. We'll see. And then we have, this is my horse collection, by the way, in cats. <laughs> we have the Black Stallion's Courage. This is my favorite Black Stallion. I read the Black Stallion voraciously as a child. Um, Black Beauty. And then this is a vintage Black Stallion that I found in Goodwill. And a National Velvet vintage. So I gotta keep those. Um, and then the cat books. Uh, what do I need here? Um, I don't know if I need any of these. Maybe. Well, I've got the James Harriet on the other side. I really like this book. It's a maybe. I like the cover especially. Um, yeah, I don't really just, I don't need those. Okay, I think that's it for this. So I will get it all organized and get back to you momentarily. There's the current purge under the table again. Like it's never ending, right? Hey, I'm back. So here's what we have currently. Very exciting, very exciting. I know you're not excited, but I am, it's my room. Anyway, I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of any of the Amy Tan. I just love Amy Tan. Okay. They're all still there. And I did find this, um, Lorette Savoy Trace. 
uh, which is like geography and um, a black woman in science. So I missed that first pass, but definitely this has to say. So there we go. There we go. Adventure. Adventure awaits. Um, I think I'll end here for the moment. There will definitely be a part three and probably a part four of this <sighs> unhaul series. So stay tuned. If you're interested in that sort of thing. If you're not, don't watch, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching if you did. And stay tuned for the St. Louis clips And if you're interested. Um, I'll be back soon. Bye. I just like the variety in here. American life. Mississippi River. So good. Oh, wow. These, are these the kind of landscapes you're wanting? I like that. Yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> this little girl grew up to become this woman over here. <laughs> okay. Such a, uh, what do you call it, ennui? Evolution of the chair. 1800, more chairs, become a game now, 1810, ooh, what's this one, 1808, I like this, this is stylish right here, 1772, 1790, another one, look at that, 1825,
48. This one's so special, it got its own glass box. 1870. These pansies? Yeah. Pansies. Okay, y'all just need to see this. Isn't this the most impressive museum garden? So beautiful. Close up there. Oh, happy day. Look at this. Hey, Gorgeousness. Love it. Me. I want a garden like this. <laughs> this is a lot of work. They're on a hot date. <laughs> Where'd they go? They're hiding. Little birds, little birds. Oh, there's one. Ha <laughs> ha! 